Hey guys, Keith here. I uh, just wanted to show you a couple finished products that I got in the last couple days. Uh, I believe I showed one of them in the, in the last video I uploaded. But I uh, just wanted to share with you what I got so far. Uh, first one is for a 1911. Uh, this one here is a Taurus PT 1911. It is clear. Um, what I've got is a OD Green. Uh, it's got a straight draw. Uh, did relieve it here a little bit to accommodate sitting down, uh, moving a little bit more so it doesn't uh, dig into your leg. It does have a full sweat guard. Um, this one here. Um, when the gun is cocked and is not on safe, as you put the gun in the holster, it will. Put the weapon on safe uh, so it is molded to accommodate the safety on position um, however if you do holster it and it is not cocked and the safety is not on it will still go in uh, that's not an issue the retention on it is pretty good won't come out um, Made the belt loops a little bit more lower profile. Um, I believe there's about a quarter of an inch there. Maybe about 275 thousandths, I guess. Customer requested maybe a little bit lower profile. I did have them bigger. And um, he wanted me to make them smaller, so he did accommodate that. But uh, overall, happy with this one. Uh, got some good definition, even in the back. Uh, on these, I do try to make them to where it's not going to interfere with your hand as it is on there. I do try to cut all that out of the way. The only place that your hand is going to touch it when it's drawn is if, if your finger here touches it. Uh, so it is relieved here for the grip and then also for the thumb. I don't like for the, the holster to be up in here and, and putting the thumb on it. I just, Personal preference, I guess. I like making them, making them that way there. But uh, that one there is the first one. Like I said, overall, happy with that one. Customer has seen it. He is, he is happy with it. Uh, so we should be getting that to him here in the next uh, day or so. The next one I've got is for a Glock 17, also unloaded. Um, this one is. Uh, it's going to be for a range safety officer, so uh, he wanted it to be in red, and uh, I have to say I'm I'm pretty happy with this one. Uh, probably my favorite one so far. It does have a heavy forward cant uh, that was also by request. This one has the pancake style uh, belt loops on it. Uh, the retention on this one is awesome. Locks in there real good. It's not coming out. Um, this one here, I had to bend a little different. It's got a pretty, pretty heavy bend on it, if you can see it there. Um, this one here, after I bent it, um, having to make it so wide, I did come back and kind of flare this up a little bit, uh, so it does ride a little bit better. Um, this one, like I said, I'm very happy with this one. I wore it around yesterday for uh, a couple of hours, and it just it seemed to disappear on your side. And, uh, I'm really, really happy with it. This one also has a full sweat guard. Uh, mag release is covered, and again, I cut out for the thumb. So there's no, you're not touching anything here when you go to you know, unholster the weapon. And I don't know how that's turning out on camera there, but the, the definition here in the holster is is awesome. I've got the edges polished up. It is obviously open in the front, and then overall, extremely happy with this one. We've got a lot of definition down into the ejection port there, and it still draws really, really easy. 
I don't know how well you can hear that, but it, I mean, it locks in really, really nice. So, that there is uh, what we've got done over the last couple days. So, uh, just wanted to share that quick video with you. If you got any comments, questions, uh, leave them and uh, we'll answer them as soon as we can. Thank you.